Welcome back, adventurers. My name is Coyote here at Tracker Jacker. Welcome back to Zero to Hero. I don't want to say hi to you, Trackers, so you just, you, you be you. I, I did a bad. You did a bad. Okay. I did a bad. I'm, I'm going to go fix. These are actually going to be really quick notes. I'm going to fix uh, Mini Mall. And you're going to set up defenses. Yep. Defenses. And I'm going to do cracking, and we need more green chips, too. Green. And power. Chips and power. So this is going to be like a really heavy episode. Hopefully we can actually like power through this really quick. Uh, whatever, it's powers now. And break. All right. You were not working because none of these are passive providers. So we can get that pretty easily fix. Oh wait, I also need a robo port. I need, that's what I need, I need stone. You need Jabus. I need Jabus. Keebs and that's no, no. <laughs> that's like a messed up version of like Jar Jar Binks. I can do Jar Jar, if you really want. I, I would love to hear what your version of Jar Jar is. Lusa Tata Books! Rusa Lusa! Okay, that's actually pretty good. I've practiced a lot of voices for Jar Jar oh, Binks, Smeagol, and Golem. That just got hours. real weird real quick. Can I ask why you decided to choose the most, like... Hated? Ghoulish... I didn't know it was the most hated. But Golem and, and I mean those are, or sorry, Golem and is that like that's not. When would you ever use that? Never. Okay. I'm making fun of stuff, making fun of myself. I don't know. It's just some of some of the things I used to do as a kid, and it's just stuck <laughs> with. Something I can do now. All right, you're done. Uh, I gotta fix this little bugger over here. Are we animating um, ammunition anywhere? Mm, I think we were, and I think I got rid of it. So you'll have to add it back in if that's what you want. I'll are, tell you what you want, what you really, really want. Are we going to automate... Um, um, it's okay. I can't so think. You turn nothing. Laser turrets, if I could think. Are we going to automate laser turrets at any point? They are in thy mall. Uh, we just actually need batteries. <laughs> Which, oh no, we do have batteries. We just have to actually plug in the mall, I guess, then. Which, uh, it is not. I don't know if I'll have time to do that with like all the things that I have planned for today. It's like plugging in the mall. Hmm. You. I don't know. I'd much rather get red chips going because if red chips are going, that means we're getting robo ports, and if we get robo ports, it means we're expanding, and then the construction bots can actually do something. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this and that. Boom, baby. All right, green chips are done. Cause now he's gonna do his little thing. Um, do you? Damn, I have to wait so long after these things. We're gonna have to go and set up our trains at some point. Yeah. Cause that'd be neat. Also, I'm going to assume that once these green chips are going, that we're going to need quite a bit more copper. And seeing as you set a 4 to 4, and then only ever connected one line in, um, that's, that's something that we should do at some point. Well, we only had one thing of copper built for um, the furnace, so I only used 
one of them. But why not just connect like the other three preemptively? Um, remember that? Remember that whole conversation we had about like half doing a chore and then being like, oh, no, "I was gonna get back to it later when I had the thing." Like, just, just do the thing, just finish the thing, have it done. We have a lot of construction bots right now. They're just they're having a dandy old time. Okay, while I'm waiting for that stuff to build in my inventory, I'm gonna go clean up the base. You set up all the defenses yet? Um, no, I've. I was waiting for it to be built in my inventory. Why don't you just automate the bullet production? Because I don't think we have any. I was just going to take it off the um, military science. Right. But why not just like... Because you're, you're, you're improving on the chi right now, right? So you're like... You're dealing with... You're treating the symptoms and not the disease. Because if you take it off of military science, we actually end up using military science later on. Like military science is never going to be as efficient, provided we're getting attacked at the same time. Why not just, you know... Is it in the, um... Mall? No, so that's what I said. Why don't you just go and automate it? Because then it'll be fixed. We don't have to worry about it for some time after that. Why, why, why don't you just put it in the mall? Because the way I have this mall set up is it's only items that we need every now and then. So, for example, like stone furnaces or uh, tier two assemblers or, you know, like roboports, things that, like, you build once and then that's it. You don't do it for, like, maybe, like, another 50 minutes or so. Bullets are yeah. something that you pretty much need at a constant rate. So that would just mean that if I were to put it in the mall, in this specific mall, the way it's designed, it would just mean that it would be, like, sucking up all the iron continuously. Nothing would ever get to the end. I mean, that's usually the rule of thumb. If you're going to be actually producing something that you need in, like, a decent quantity, you might as well just automate it on its own. But if you're, if it's something that you can just, like, wait a long time for, then totally use them all. This can get lost. And probably at the point that I can repaste that down, but I'm going to do that later. I'm going okay. To I'm going to... S I'm going to put it right next to the... Just above the big mall. What now? I'm going to put it right above the mall. Put it above the mall, just keep in mind that it's going to be prioritized over the mall itself. So how many bullets do you anticipate needing? Mm, quarter of a chest. A quarter of a chest? What's that, like 2,000 rounds? Maybe. That's going to take an eternity to fill up. Alright, that's fine. There's half, there's a quarter. So just the first row. Right, so that'd be 2,000. Yeah. You're doing your thing, you're doing your thing. Alright, I was gonna like handle these things. That's what I had planned in my mind last episode. I think that's the way it works. So I need to put you here. So anyway, on a side note, um, this episode is going to be going out a little bit later than we're accustomed to. So it means that I probably didn't go ahead, or it's not probably, it's I most definitely didn't post anything in the last almost a week. And that's just because me and Tracker were having scheduling issues. Yeah. But uh, we're going to be recording quite a few episodes over the course of the next week. So we should be we should be fine. We should be back on track, hopefully. Hopefully. You say that as if something bad's gonna go wrong. I don't know, dude. You give me weird excuses sometimes. I don't like. For all I know, next week you're gonna fall in love with a polar bear and decide that you have to get hitched in Las Vegas. I have no comment to that. That's what I'm saying. Like you have weird reasons sometimes. Oh, you want to get armor piercing rounds? That's gonna be expansive. That's some beautiful iron.
Man, in comparison to like the other maps that I'm doing right now, like we're really behind on this one. Which is astonishing really, because we have like so many initial resources. You're gonna be fun to tap into. It's you and you, these guys need to be tapped into. We just, ugh, we need to set up our train soon. I think that's the moral of the story. Oh, also, I need a crazy amount of pipes. So I was editing, um, or I noticed when I was editing one of the past episodes, and actually someone mentioned it in the uh, in the comments too. You got really, really close to dying last episode or the one before that. Like crazy close. I was like, ah, ah, we're gonna add something to the death counter, and then nothing. <laughs> got me all excited, and then this. Yeah, I was, I was really close. I'm like, yeah, I better not die here, or else I'm gonna hear it from Coyote. I mean, here I'm gonna laugh at you. If that's what you mean by hear it. It's the only way you'll learn not to die. If I ridicule you enough that you're just like, meh, I don't want to do that no more. Mm. That's the thing, though, like, I, in hindsight, after setting the whole idea of the death counter, I don't really die anymore in this game. And I, that, like, that sounds super cocky, but, like, in the, I've been playing this game incredibly religiously for the last month or so, and I think I've died, like, maybe a handful of times and it's usually because of some other random variable like i wasn't paying attention to the screen and i got ambushed by biters or i accidentally run myself over with a train you know like the super embarrassing deaths that you just don't want to talk about and yet here i am talking about them still alive yep Am I? This dude's missing that. That's why that's not being done. And totally have these guys too. Maybe have that too. One thing that I haven't done yet, but then again, we don't have MK2 armor, is mess myself. That's when, like, you cancel so many things that it just, like, spills out out of your inventory. You're like, uh-oh. I've done a whoopsie. And that is, like, the lamest thing to happen. Especially when you're in a really precarious situation, like, on your bus. You're just like, oh no, I've contaminated all my lines. Better be quick with that decon. Does that happen to you often? Huh, Tracker? Do you, do you mess yourself a lot? Oh, a couple of times. Not that often. In game, though, right? Yeah. Alright, that's done. Is there anything else that's missing? Uh, a bunch of power poles. Do you have, a, do you have any small electric power poles? I have two. Okay, never mind. Maybe like a bunch more. All right, there we go. Because I'm looking at the the alerts right now, and we were really, really low on small power poles. That being said, it's also because we connected. Right, I just connected the smelters more or less to the network. And like part of them are connected. All right, we gotta get you. Connected. What if I connect? Oh, that's swell. <laughs> Just, okay, power is uncrapped itself. <laughs> there was a reason I was going to go get it. I was just what were you doing? Um, setting up automation for bullets and waiting for it to be built in my inventory. That took you 10 minutes to set up. 
two assemblers that are not even properly ratioed. You, um... I wasn't doing uh, doing ratios, I was just setting up automation just temporarily. Why not just like properly ratio it so that you don't have to deal with that later on? Because it's only temporary. Right, but for the extra 10 seconds that it would have taken you, actually mind you, it would have taken you like 20 minutes at your speed. But for the extra 10 minutes that it would have taken someone, why not? I just locked myself in. That's stupid. Why not, you know, deal with it so it's future proof to not have to worry about it ever again? Because I usually don't deal with ratios when I play this game. Dude, this game is like purely based off of ratios. You know, seeing as we're going for like a mega base. Yeah, that's why when I go ahead and play this game, I don't mess with mines too much. I just wait. I'm a patient person. You don't mess with mines. I, I don't understand what you mean. Line. Line. Building lines and stuff like that. You don't mess with lines. You know, automation lines. Okay. And in what regard in this game, though? Everything. I'm just not getting what you're saying. Probably not. Oh, come on. You could be... Can't you be closer? Oh, crap. Oh, we're... S I did the ratios all wrong. I thought you just said you didn't do ratios. For power, I do. Do you? Okay. Because it's... It's, it's one of the ratios I know. I have to know for me to use it. Okay, that... How can you... Why would you have very selective choices of ratios like that? Because this is a ratio that's easy to learn. And easy to build. I told you, I don't mess with ratios. But you're so inconsistent. In, like, your train of thought. That makes no sense. Like, why would you not fuck? Also, dude, why the hell are you grabbing from the lines when you can just grab it from the chests? Because I keep forgetting you put chests here. Don't worry, they'll be useful later on when we get to, like, buffer things and all that. All right, um, right, I'm going to come and help you because you're taking forever. Oh, oh, wait, shoot, shoot, shoot. You know what? Before I do that, because we do need power mate. Um, before we go ahead and do that, or before I go ahead and do that, I am going to make one small electric power pole to actually connect this thing. But I'm going to go and plug in the mall so that we can actually have some things going. Oh, power is really just not having it right now, man. It's crapping out. Uh, it's, it's not very happy. Let's just put it like that. Why are you not properly... Oh, because you went ahead and messed with the thing. What'd I do? Nothing, don't worry about it. Okay, you... I also didn't set up um, priorities when I put the priority uh, splitters... When I put the splitters down, because I completely forgot how you want me to set that up. For where? Um, right next to iron and copper. Iron and copper where? Oh, you mean like on the? It's like the one thing on the main bus. I thought I taught you during this playthrough. It's priority splitters. All right, I'll go deal with that. I do things and just leave it for for him to do. Yeah, that's not. I wouldn't brag about that. I'm not. Especially seeing as like how so little was missing. And I actually just want to go ahead and confirm how to do that. It's um 
actually for that one, wouldn't you want to prioritize the main bus rather than prioritize the crafting of the ammo? Because we don't need ammo that much. That's a very good question. And uh, if that was the case, then I would have just put the damn ammo lower down. Because usually when you build your bus, you build the more important components at the beginning, right? So like, for example, green ships. Green ships are like a fundamental resource for absolutely everything else. And then I usually put the mall and then the, or the mini mall and then the mall. Because like, if I'm building up infrastructure, I want to prioritize all that infrastructure being made. So my point being that everything at the beginning of the bus is super vital, as opposed to everything at the end of the bus requires the things that are at the beginning of the bus. So that's usually why I prioritize. You could definitely prioritize elsewhere, but if we were to like prioritize the bus as opposed to prioritize these bullets, what would happen is only when the entire big sorry, when the entire base will stop producing stuff, will that actually get iron. Why did I have hiccups all of a sudden? Does that make sense to you? Mm-hmm. Because, like, it would have to back up. The bus would have to back up to the point where, like, there's too many resources on the bus for it to feed something else. Priority splitters are not necessarily second nature to a lot of people. And some of the more... We're going to use... Uh, ex I don't even want to say experience because it's not necessarily the case. But, like, some of the more... The older players, some of the more... The players that have been playing for longer, like, through more of the updates... They're still not 100% sold on priority splitters in themselves. Because priority can give you... Like, it, like, it used to be a thing, and like Stijo tried to make a video with like a Roomba where they were trying to argue it, and um, it just it wasn't built into the mechanics at the point, so it didn't really make sense. Like, And even with circuitry, you weren't able to properly do it. So it just never became really mainstream at all. But now that they are a possibility and they're really easy to set up, they should. Like, they're just like, I mean, they should be the new meta, honestly. Okay, wow, like a million years ago, I said I was going to set this thing up. Let's do this real quick. Which I find so unfortunate. I find so, so unfortunate. Even when we're doing the multiplayer madnesses, like it, it just happens all the time where people are like, but we should get balancers. I'm like, why would you want balancers? Like I'm, I'm totally open to suggestions. Honestly, if you have a, a good argument to be made for something, then I will listen to it. But the, like the argument they always give is, yeah, but that way everyone will have a little bit. Like, so why is that a good thing? Why is feeding science and building up your infrastructure when you can't even afford both a good thing? Why does that make sense to you? They're like, oh, but I, I just, I like it better that way. Like, oh, okay. I, I, I can give you a reason why. Educate um, me, please. Um, sorry, not a reason why you would do balancers over the other. That I cannot. Um, what I can tell you is why that is a thing. That's actually very common in, I want to say humans in ourselves. To begin with, um, oh, we're the reason why psychology. I... Okay. Do you, do you not like psychology? I, I'm very. I, I mean, you're studying English literature, mm -hmm. and like you're you're questionable at that. But okay, let's let's listen to your psychology. I'm very curious um, to hear this. Well, if you've ever looked back um, at kind of think of exactly how to word this uh, without stupid but then again you're talking I'm talking about me so don't worry I'll edit it to make you sound like a complete idiot <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but the hum humanity likes change but at the same time we like change we only like certain a uh, certain amount of change that's why um, oh crap we're being eaten a second we're getting attacked there we go um the if you ever look back and you know how it usually common in um um older 
the older generations. Um, they usually complain about how we have this newfangled tech and new stuff like that. They just don't like the change. They they understand it's a change and it's a change that probably will never go away. But they don't understand why it was made in the first place if everything was so good to begin with. When phones first came out, when cell phones first came out, everybody actually thought it would be a waste. And it would never be good. Same thing with TVs. Same thing with cars. These big changes that now are big in the world today um, were mostly fought because we don't like this change. And it's the exact same thing with splitters. We liked balancers because everybody did it. It was the thing to do. It's what worked. But nowadays, the new thing is priority splitters. It's something new. It's something that is still you know still growing and people haven't gotten used to that change yet and that's why in my opinion what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things i have ever heard at no point in your rambling incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it does There's that make a sense? lot of talking and a lot of words to ultimately just come down saying you can't teach an old dog new tricks you had to back saying that you have to back up some kind of evidence yeah people don't like change people don't like change except if it's inc like a million times easier e even then even then, people still do not like change. If it's cars, if cars it's... made everything better. You didn't have no. to buy a horse. You don't have no, to do all that. No, because you needed all the reflexes that goes with learning how to drive a car. Right? When, like, my mom, when my grandfather was, like, super, super young, the amount of people that got hit by cars and the amount of like chickens that got run over were like it was tremendous it was just crazy because people just didn't have the reflexes for things why is that well, not oh crap i did that wrong what nothing well there are two reasons for that um one is because people didn't have what you were saying but the other one is because reflexes. everybody walked on the nobody there was no sidewalks cuz everybody walked on the road that's why um jaywalking became illegal is to get people to stop walking on the road where we now make cars for to drive on is to get people off the roads off from crashes and this and that so that the roads could be specifically for cars alone and that once you saw that law put in place a lot of people stopped getting hit oh crap we're having big energy problems you mean the thing that it kind of put you on like a million years ago? Just... Yeah, I went ahead and built power. You built power, but we're still having power issues? Yeah. Did that turkey eat eaten? Oh, sure about that? Because what I'm seeing right here is you built power, but you didn't connect it. I didn't connect it. I'm I love an how idiot. you almost have like a massive attitude when I'm like, are you sure about that? You're like, what? How dare you question me? Oh wait, you're right. <laughs> you always are. One of these days I'll be right. One of them. I tend to be right quite a bit. You know, I mean, you're not wrong. And the power flickering, that was because the laser turret was Did we have, like, doing what's laser turret doing something? Oh, wow, there's like five laser turrets. Okay. And you need to part. Nope, wrong side. Oh, shoot. Now I want to go build up power and stuff. That's just not happening. That being said, I did at least set up this dude. I also have to give some bad news. Oh, God. 
Yeah, every time you say that, it's just like, oh, it's super bad. My timer crapped out. You know how ridiculous this is? And for everyone watching, I mean, I give Tracker one job, right? He one did. job. Where all I ask him to do is just set a timer so that he knows when to do the outro. And every single time, I always make sure to set mine as a backup. Because I know, I just, I just know... He's gonna muck up. That being said, it's been 30 minutes, like almost on the dot. So it's all you. All you, oh. Tracker. The second job that I give you is to do the outro. Can you do that one? Fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. Thanks for watching. Go like and subscribe down below, and I'm Tracker. And I can't do my job. You're ashamed to your lineage.